Hey, how are you? I am the representative and agent of Alfonso Davies and I am standing here with a young man. Please tell us your name. My name is Brian Davies. And what do you do, Brian? I play soccer. Okay. I love this sport. So I'm going to ask you some questions and you're going to answer them for me? All, All right. right. Who's your favorite player? Lionel Messi. Who? Lionel Messi. Messi. Yeah. Not Alfonso? He's Remember, this is on camera. Yeah, he's, he's my second favorite player. Okay, cool. He's the second favorite. Okay, okay. Yeah. Who's a better soccer player, you or Alfonso? Me. <laughs> you? Yeah, I see. You? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, one more. Mm. Who's your favorite soccer agent? <laughs> so, who's the favorite soccer manager? <laughs> it's long. <laughs> He's not even a soccer manager. <laughs> <laughs> Who manages your brother? You. Who's your favorite? You. All right. Give All right. me some. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've got two approaches to this. So number one is to ensure that we uh, instill and create and help contribute to developing successful people. Um, so on and off the field, whether it comes to education, whether it comes to other passions, whether it comes to uh, just wanting to get into a trade. And then the other stream that we have is to try and instill uh, a belief in these players that you do have the ability and that you do have the, the opportunity to go on to the biggest stage in the world. And, and that kind of is emblematic of the name. So BTB stands for Born to Be, and that was designed and, and put in place by Conde as, you know, you're born to be whatever you want to be. This is just one approach and it's soccer, but it can be applied to anything. And so we've had the opportunity, I've had the opportunity to coach Alfonso when he was younger before he's moved on to Vancouver and Bayern. And he's an ambassador for the academy. He comes in and he helps out. He's actually sponsored all the soccer balls we have. He's donated all the, the jerseys that the kids are wearing. Um, he comes in every time he's in town and, and trains with the kids and teaches them things. And uh, what that's allowed the kids to do is believe that, hey, this guy grew up playing in the same facilities under the same coaches, in the same environment, and he's made it to where he has. Um, again, going back to that work ethic that's instilled in the city. Soccer in Edmonton, it is getting better. I mean, from when we started, we did not have a lot of opportunities here. Um, but now with the coaching, with the CPL that has come into Edmonton, it's really given these kids a sense of belief. I mean, getting to the next level, it's not so far away anymore. It's literally in your backyard. We have coaches here that play on FC Edmonton, and they see it and it's more realistic now than in the past. In the past, you'd have to look all the way to Europe in order to be able to get an opportunity. But now, you wake up, you look in your backyard, you're good enough, you work hard enough, you're hungry enough, you will get an opportunity. The sport is gonna thrive in Edmonton, for sure. The sport is gonna thrive. You know, some of our neighborhoods, in North Edmonton in particular, the amount of children that are coming here from overseas that are emigrating to this country, um, the, the game is just going to continue to get better and better. You know, it'll do that by itself, and hopefully, we're a part of that. Uh, you know, at this club. But yeah, it's bright. The future, the future in this city is very bright. You look at a lot of the kids in Ontario, and you look at Sigma as an example as a private academy. How much that's driven player development in in, in, in southern Ontario. Well, BTB will be very equivalent here uh, to what they've done because, um, you know, it, it's a fair play program, but they also they also financially. Um, help a lot of kids play that, that wouldn't be able to necessarily afford a private academy. They help them. They, they find funding for these kids. So they make sure that every kid can, that wants to be in BTB can be in BTB. So, so these are the type of programs that I think are going to continue to grow. And I'm a fan of private academies for that regard because I think they, they make us all, you know, and I would say this when I was at club soccer, as a club technical director, I would say the same thing, um, that these private academies actually make, make it better because they make us have to be better. We've had a few academies. I mean, I, I coached in Edmonton for about 11 years. I've seen a lot of smaller academies start up and then the whole idea behind high-level club soccer was to develop players to Alfonso's level. But I think the vision was a bit skewed. 
Uh, you know, I, I mean, some people will probably be upset at me saying this, but it just, it just wasn't being done right. Everybody wants to win. That's what it's about. But we don't look at the, you know, it's, it's about, my, you know, you got to have macro vision, not micro vision in this sport. And the one thing that I noticed that was happening over the years when I coached, every coach wanted to win. I'm not a soccer guy. I never played the sport, you know, I played the other football. Um, but uh, seeing a club like uh, Academy, like BTB, and watching all these young guys, I mean, they all have dreams. Now they've seen a boy out of Edmonton become a pro so it's become reality for them now it's not just a dream anymore it's a you know and so uh, I think BTB is doing a great job. It's gone really big um, I remember we started it was literally the first day we went to the field it was literally maybe like eight kids random kids just from the community boys girls all age group we had a 16 year old we had a couple seven years old and it's been now we've gone up to 180 kids in the span of six years it's been amazing. They're serious about soccer, they take it serious, like if you want to be the next thing you have to work really hard. A kid like Alfonso for example, I'll go back to Alfonso, to come out of Edmonton in that environment is great. So we do have a lot of talent here, a lot of talent. I always say Edmonton's an untapped market and everybody thinks of us as a hockey town, but this is a big soccer town and it is an untapped market and I truly believe, because I've been uh, around the scene and I've come out and I've watched a lot of the young talent. I truly believe the next one's gonna come out of Edmonton.